Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable and use the ProRes feature on the iPhone. Let's get started. All right, so the ProRes feature was enabled on the iPhones with the iOS 15.1 update. So you're going to want to open your settings, go to general first and tap on software update here and make sure you have the iOS 15.1 update. If you do have that update, you're going to go back into your settings here and you're just going to scroll down to where you see the camera option. Give that a quick tap and we're going to tap on the formats tab here. Now, what we're looking at is this new feature, Apple ProRes. And last year we had the Apple Pro Raw, which shot raw photos. And this is going to give you the ProRes ability now. So you can see what it says down here when you enable it. It's going to show camera controls for ProRes. ProRes is one of the most popular formats for video professional post-production. And then it also tells you a minute of 10-bit HDR ProRes is going to use up approximately 1.7 gigabytes for HD. Now keep in mind, I have a little note down here that says ProRes capture is supported for up to 30 frames per second at 1080p. That's because I have the 128 gigabyte model iPhone 13 Pro. If you have a 256 gigabyte or more, you can actually shoot that in the 4K format. But again, keep in mind, it's gonna burn through quite a bit of memory when you do have it on. So now that we have this turned on, let's go back to our main screen and tap on the camera app here. And now we'll be able to access our video section with an option up here that shows ProRes. Now this only works in the video section, so you can't use it in the cinematic option here. You can see we don't have that, but in the video section, you see ProRes, if we tap on it, it's going to turn on the ProRes option and it says max time is four minutes. You got free resources there. If you tap on it, here's what it does. It's going to be freeing up the resources on your phone so that you have more space to actually capture these videos. You can see that the max time I have on this phone with everything I have on it is five minutes. So keep that in mind as well. Also, you can see that I cannot shoot ProRes in 4K because again, I have the 128 gigabyte model. So if I tap OK, I lose ProRes. If I turn it back on, it's telling me max 30 frames per second at 1080p. So unfortunately, that's just how it's going to be for now. I have to change it back to that, turn ProRes on, and now I can shoot my ProRes video and uh, use it any way I would like. So that's how you enable and use Apple ProRes on the iPhone 13 models. Again, you'll need iOS 15.1 to run this particular option here. And if you do find that it's using up too much space, don't forget to turn it off. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.